Are you planning to get married? Have you thought about an anti-nuptial contract? Hi, I'm Simon Dipinar and I'm a family attorney. Here in South Africa, couples traditionally marry in community of property. This is still the most common regime here and elsewhere. In this type of marriage, both parties are the owners of the joint estates and when they divorce, they split the marital property 50-50. Marriages in community of property does not require an anti-nuptial contract or prenup, but marriage out of community of property does. There are two types of prenups, one that maintains a complete separation and the other that keeps all assets and liabilities before the marriage separate but allows any growth or accrual during the marriage to be shared equally according to the accrual formula. This is what is meant by without accrual and with accrual respectively. Now, with accrual includes any increase in the net value of each individual's estate. On divorce, there can be a complete disparity of personal wealth if one spouse has not worked, for example, in order to raise the family. This inequality is remedied by the accrual system. Without accrual is the simplest marital arrangement but may not always be the fairest. In this case, all property owned prior to the marriage and all property acquired during the marriage belongs to the person who acquired it. The prenup sets out the rules and conditions that govern the division of property and assets, both during the marriage and on divorce. A prenup can be particularly helpful where both spouses run businesses or have high earning occupations. Conventionally, marriage in community of property protected a non-working wife who would otherwise be disadvantaged on divorce, but a modern couple may find it useful to keep their assets separate to ensure future business endeavors are not compromised in the event of a divorce. Out of community of property also protects each spouse from the other's debts on divorce, unlike in community of property where debts are shared equally. This can be especially important if one spouse is a risk taker and the other is risk averse. The prenup is not meant to contain a detailed list of every piece of property each person owns. It simply covers the contractual conditions the couple has agreed. The contract for a marriage out of community of property with accrual includes the following. There will be no community of property between the parties. There will be no community of profit or loss between the parties. The accrual system referred to in the Matrimonial Property Act will apply to the intended marriage between the parties. The net values of the estates of the parties at the commencement of their intended marriage are included. Exclusions as per the Matrimonial Property Act are noted. Calculation of the accrual is given. Any other conditions that may impact the accrual such as insolvency are noted. Both parties declare their intention to solemnize their marriage and promise each other the full force of their legal obligations with respect to the marriage and property. The contract for marriage without accrual is even simpler. It states, there will be no community of property between the parties. There will be no community of profit or loss between the parties. The accrual system referred to in the Matrimonial Property Act is expressly excluded. Both parties declare their intention to solemnize the marriage and promise each other the full force of their legal obligations with respect to the marriage and property. Couples often marry in community of property because they assume their marriage will last forever and there is no need for a prenup. Years later, when they become a divorce statistic, there is a lot of dispute over the division of assets and a divorce can become acrimonious. A prenup can help to prevent conflict and avoid protracted proceedings that will cost both parties considerably, both financially and emotionally. Forging an agreement when you are deeply in love that says you will behave in a caring and adult manner should the love die is actually a responsible loving act. A prenup also can prevent friction within a marriage. Often financial disputes are preempted by the terms of the contract. My firm, SD Law, has a wealth of expertise in family law and anti-nuptial contracts. We can help you decide which type of marriage is best for you and draft an appropriate prenup. If you choose marriage out of community or property with accrual, we can assist with the valuation of your respective estates prior to the marriage and draw up the corresponding contract. 
If you'd like to know more, give me a call on the number in the signature below.